Hello, my precious jewels. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Julie. And if you like makeup tutorials, makeup hauls, makeup reviews, first impressions, and all things beauty, then you come to the right channel. In today's video, you can see I'm back in my element. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back in my studio. I have so much stuff to unpack, but I wanted to come and do a video for you guys. My nails are looking crazy. Hopefully, I can get an appointment. I should have made it before I headed back home, but I didn't. But I will get them done. I'm just going to be coming on here today trying makeup again that I tried before just to try to see you know if I like it if it still makes me feel the way it did when I used it hopefully this is something that you guys will enjoy and you will stay tuned for the video I'm excited because I have a lot of products that I tried and didn't get a chance to pick them up again so I like to go back and at least touch them twice because sometimes I buy makeup and I pick it up one time then I'm upset I'm like I spent all this money on this makeup so now I'm trying to do like five videos at least using a particular product so I can get my money's worth. I'm gonna start on my brows. I'm gonna use this brow wig from Too Faced. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would do so before we go any further. And if you like these kind of videos where I'm kind of like all over the place, but I do have a point. The point is giving the makeup another try. Giving new makeup another try. Like, is it really worth your money? Because sometimes you can't really tell on the first go round. So we're going to try it again. And I think I'm going to go back and use a lot of the About Face products. Because I really did like that foundation but I want to be sure so I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I will be right back so I'm just doing my eye base and I have a few new products that I want to try as well as some products that I've tried already so we're gonna call them newer and new products so this will be a trying new were a new products <laughs> because I do have a few things that came in the mail while I was away and things that I just have that I haven't been able to incorporate into a video so today we are gonna do that I have just a few new products I have this about face matte fluid eye paint this is the mini version of it so we're gonna try that and I think that with these you can like mix the colors and make like different colors so we're gonna see that's probably gonna take a minute, but I wanted to try them. A lot of products I like, I even like the blushes, but they just were a little too dewy for me. And I don't care how much powder I put on them, they wouldn't matte out. And I was like, I can't. And then I have these new primers. This is from Self Beauty, the Uniconic Pore Control Essence Primer and the Uniconic Hydrating Essence Primer. So I bought both of these. They were actually on sale. I love the setting spray so much. And then I saw the primers and I was like, I gotta try it. So, you know, I love the glow setting spray and the matte setting spray. They are wonderful. Now I'm wondering with this liquid paint from About Face, if I should put a powder under it. Let's see. I'm so excited to do my makeup. Okay, so these are the matte fluid eye paints. These are the minis. They actually have a larger size, which is a .15 ounce, and these three are three times 0.4 fluid ounces. So basically the three of them are probably the size of one of the full size matte liquid eye paints and it comes in it looks like 31 colors and the large ones retail for $16 they got really good reviews they got uh, 4.6 stars it says conscious beauty at Ulta vegan clean ingredients cruelty free the about face matte fluid paint is powerful one swipe punch of liquid eye color that delivers bold buildable pigment the matte liquid formula swipes on easily for a smooth no budge no smudge finish it says prep the eyelids with a shadow fix eyeshadow primer for a smooth canvas and long wear. Wait 20 to 30 seconds for formula to dry. Apply matte fluid eye paint to eyelids with fingers or your favorite tool for as much or as little as you are into. The canvas is yours. Want a little sparkle? Using your fingers or brush, apply your favorite shade or fractal glitter dust or fractal glitter jelly on top of the matte fluid eye paint. This is wear as an eyeliner. We're gonna try it. It was $25 for those three. I didn't realize that. So anyway, I got this because I love a, <laughs> I love a yellow. So I wanted to see like how pigmented the yellow is. So that's what we're gonna do. I hate this plastic packaging. Now I do like these because I think you can mix them. We're gonna try to mix the color. These are such cute little components. And I love 
yellow. I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow on my lid. Now what made me really go for the little mini is I like the fact that it had a yellow in it. I didn't wanna pay full price for a yellow that wasn't gonna give me what I wanted as far as color payoff. That yellow is pretty and I think I should've used a different brush because, oh that is gorgeous. I should have used a different brush because this one has the concealer on it that I blended it out with, but I'm loving that. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with another layer of the yellow. And I just wanna let it dry down just a little bit. I'm loving it already. Like, I love yellow. Now, I don't know how long lasting these are gonna be because it's late and I'm not gonna have it on long, maybe two or three hours. Oh my God, I love that color payoff. I feel like I should have put a powder. So this is probably more like a base because it's not really blended out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put a powder on this lid and then I'm gonna go over it again with the yellow. And if it works out better, then I'll just take that eye off and redo it. I'm gonna take this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in number 60 and just set the lid. They are discontinuing a lot of the shades, a lot of the darker shades. So I picked up what I could. They have a sale. I don't know if it's still going on, but they had a sale. And I was talking to the guy. He was like, yeah, they're discontinuing some of the shades. And I was very upset because I have some of the dark ones and some of the in-between colors I wasn't able to get. Like, I think they got rid of number 70. There was a few that they got rid of, but I bought a bunch of them because for $10, you can't go wrong with that. I already know that I would love a larger one of these, even if I only use it for a base because it's just a really good yellow. I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. I don't want it to dry completely, but I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit. The powder gave it something to stick to, but let's see if it blends anywhere. I guess it's a little bit better with the powder on it because it blends. I'm just gonna blend it up, but it's definitely blending a little bit better. The payoff wasn't any better with powder. I was thinking about putting the orange just a little bit of the orange, but no, we're gonna stick with the yellow. I'm gonna use my finger and just tap some more to see if that. It's got a very sticky feel, but it may be, it may be better with the finger. Maybe a little more opaque. Okay, I like the yellow. Like, I love the yellow color. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue on the back of my hand and then just make a liner. This is like a royal blue. They have names, that was called Primary Yellow. And this one is called No Queen Blues. That looks like a green. When you mix them together, you definitely can mix these and make your own color. Okay, that's nice and simple. I'm gonna do a lash and then we're gonna start the face. Okay, so these lashes, they actually are kind of cute. I like a simple lash now that I don't have hair because sometimes the lashes are just a bit too much. I don't like lashes that make me look like um like a deer. So I'm gonna stamp them together once they dry. This glue, I used to love it. This is the Super Stronghold by I Envy. I don't know what happened. It's not old at all. I just opened it maybe like a month and a half ago and it, I don't know, it's, it's clumpy already. I don't like it anymore. Okay, so I went to the spa for my birthday. It was an early birthday gift. My birthday is actually on the 9th and I'll probably come on and do like a makeup video or, or like film a video for my birthday makeup. I don't know what it's gonna look like because I don't know where I'm going or what I'm gonna wear. But I noticed that the little acne bumps that I had on my forehead, they kind of drying up. Whatever she put on my face, it helped it dry up. Some areas didn't do well. Like my skin is very sensitive, so it definitely dried out my forehead. She told me that my forehead is dehydrated. Anyway, I have this Uniconic Pore Control Essence Primer from Self Beauty. It was on sale for like $4.99 from $20. So I said, why not try it? It's a Korean brand and I like their product so far. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna pump a little bit. I already have my skincare on, my serums and all of that. So we're gonna put a little bit of this primer on. It has a nice clean smell. I'm loving this yellow eyeshadow. It just goes to show you that you can wear one color of eyeshadow and it gives you a nice look. Okay, so this is like a thin lotion. It doesn't feel like a serum. It just feels like a thin lotion, but it's drying and getting like a little, I guess like a little tacky. Yeah, 
It's definitely getting tacky. I'm gonna pump a little bit more and then I think I'm gonna put the hydrating one up at the top or this around my mouth because sometimes I'll get like little parentheses lines. It definitely gets tacky, which is a good thing. Like I said, I think this retails for like $18.98, but it was on sale for $4.99. I had to jump on it. I was like, I gotta try it. <laughs> oh, I got it from Amazon. Okay, so this one is the Hydrating Essence Primer. This one is like a blue color. That's pretty. And it's a squeeze bottle. The other one was a pump. This one is 1.11 fluid ounces for this one, the Pore Control Essence Primer. And this one is 33 mils, 1.1 fluid ounces. So this is a dropper and okay. I guess something in there. I don't need a whole lot. I think the color is so pretty. It's like thick or something. Cause it's not okay we don't need a whole lot because we're only putting it up here now it moves on the skin a little more fluidly than the other one this one has a it has a clean smell but it has more of a um you could smell something i don't know what's in it because it's in korean it just says planet friendly conscious ingredients alternative packaging it says essence primer supplies an instant hydration and forms a moisture layer making your skin into an even canvas for better makeup application. It's micro pearl pigments provide sheer radiance and a healthy glow to your skin. That's this one. Like the writing is so small and faint. And then this one says, Essence Primer forms an instant smooth layer, making your skin silky and flawless. Its fine particles keep makeup looking clean and fresh all day long by absorbing oil and sebum. Okay. The skin looks, it feels very smooth. It looks, glowy up here and it does look matte here which is what we are going for so let's go to this foundation this about face the performer foundation i mean like this color was a spot on color for me and i hope a lot of you found your perfect color if you are my complexion this was our color d3 neutral when i tried this on i tried it on with the blush and i didn't like the blush the blush was it was just too balmy for me it was very dewy when you have oily skin you don't really want that much dew on your face i don't like this doe foot applicator but you know we're gonna use it because that's what they gave us you know you could always put it on the back of your hand and then put it on but the color was perfect it has a smell I don't know what it smells like. There is a smell. I can't remember if this has any skincare ingredients in it. It might. Let me go back real quick just to tell you. I reviewed this foundation already. So I did like full specs and everything on it. I just want to wear it again because like I said, when I tried it, I did have that dewy blush on and I was not happy with it. Okay. Vegan clean ingredients. Cruelty free. It says the Performance Skin Focus Foundation by About Face is buildable, breathable, medium coverage, and delivers long wear. Second skin finish. It says the coverage meets skincare in this optimizing foundation formulated with powerful ingredients like blue agave, winter green, plus chlorella known to help skin feel moisturized, balanced, and smooth. So it's definitely a medium coverage. My lighting was different when I did the review of this. Hopefully the foundation looks just as good today as it did the day that I reviewed it because the lighting was totally different. I had to order some lighting because I didn't plan on being in New York for the time that I was there and the lights just <laughs> they weren't really the greatest lights. They were LED lights. They were supposed to be good. Last time I had to order some lights. They were good and I usually would um travel with my lights because I have a like a to-go bag but I didn't think I was going to be there that long so I pre-filmed and then I had to wait for some test results and it didn't make sense for me to go home and come back. So I definitely like the shade. You get more coverage out of it when you don't let it dry down too long. Because once it starts to dry, it doesn't go as far as it normally would go. I'm loving, you know, I just love yellow. I can't help it. I love this yellow. <laughs> eyeshadow like I would wear it every day I don't wear it every day but I would because it's just so pretty at first I was thinking like okay I'm gonna do yellow I'm gonna put the orange on there I'm gonna put the blue on there and I was like no I just want a simple look that you could wear summer or spring and just be beautiful and not too much you don't have to always go over the top to have a beautiful beautiful look beautiful and simple I mean it looks beautiful on the skin it really does the day that I wore it it was cold outside I had a hat and stuff on and I was like I don't know what it's gonna do in like warmer weather it's not quite that warm yet but it's getting there so soon I'll be able to test it out okay so I have this 
Fenty concealer that I've been dying to try. This is the Fenty They're Even Concealer. A Wear Even Concealer. It's a hydrating long wear concealer. I have it in color 370N and 350C. So let's try that. I've been wanting to try it and I have not tried it. So today we're going to try it. I love the little component that it's in. It's plastic. It is very lightweight. I'm 9 mils, which is 0.30 ounces. It says smoothing blurring for a second skin finish glide on to conceal and disguise all over i don't even know if my shades are good okay it's a very small doe foot wand with a curved tip which makes it easy for application it's a very liquidy formula it glides on very seamlessly nice okay yeah i, I like this applicator it's very precise it has a very faint smell nothing offensive which is good <laughs> I always like a brighter concealer. Just something that's gonna give me a little definition on my face. I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit and I'm gonna tell you the price of it. I feel like a little tingly, just like a little tingly under the eyes. I don't know what's in it. Okay, that comes in 50 shades and it retails for $30. It got 4.6 stars on the Ulta website. It says do less but get more with wear even hydrating long wear concealer. Ultimate makeup meets skincare hack. Melts in the skin, instantly evening, brightening and hiding dark circles plus puffiness for up to 12 hours. And it's available in 50 buildable medium coverage shades with a second skin finish. You let it dry down a little bit for maximum coverage we let it dry down without drying too much because we want it to still be able to blend evenly onto the face evenly seamlessly and beautifully <laughs> is this color too light it's a little light i didn't have to let it dry down that much here because i don't want it to look like i have a beard on <laughs> very creamy i see the coverage i think i put too much it goes on bright and smooth under the eye it's much better so far than the last one that they had i still have that one that one it was in like a more rounded component this one is a little um like hexagonish it has like little flat sides and everything i guess so you can tell the difference it doesn't stand up straight though yeah but it will lay flat <laughs> I'm just gonna go around with the foundation brush and just kind of blend everything in. And I don't think I need a lighter color to go under the eyes because this one is giving a lot of brightness. I think this is definitely bright enough. I mean, it blends out nice. I see where it's going into my fine line though. So, hmm. I'm gonna use this powder because this is what I have up here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Eye and Face Micro Powder. And this is the Tan Deep. I definitely see a lot of creasing under the eye. I mean, it looks pretty, but I see a lot of lines. Do you see that? I'm gonna do this LYS bronzer. This is the color strength. This is the darkest shade. It's a nice red bronzer with just enough depth. Like if you have a darker foundation on, you're gonna need a dark. I think this is the darkest one. They may have one that's a little bit darker now that I think about it. I'm gonna have to look and see, but I think they have one that is a little bit darker. Should we use this brush to contour with? Sedona Lace 602. Yeah, this is good. This brush is a little big. It's definitely blended in nicely. My video cut off. I don't know how much cut off, but I think I was bronzing at the time. I just want this to be seamless. I feel like this eye looks like it's not completely covered. Like, can you see that? I didn't do anything but go over it, but it, it's like it's not covered. It's like it came off when I put the powder on. I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer right there and then let it dry down a little bit. I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty powder. I didn't try any of the new shades because they didn't look like they would really do much different than what the one that I have does. If you guys want to see, yeah, I don't know, it's like, it's not, I don't know, it's not sticking under the eye over there. I don't know why. It doesn't appear to be sticking. I don't know why. Right in this area right here. So I'm going to go into Blondie so I can do my under eye area.
I do love the smell of this powder. I just love this bald head. <laughs> Only because it makes it super easy to film. Like I don't gotta go and style no hair or do nothing. Now sometimes I do have to shave it. Like it needs to be shaved. There's so many things about a bald head that I didn't know that I'm learning. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. And I'm gonna use coffee cake. Sometimes I want to put foundation on my whole head, but then some days I'm like, that's too much work. You know why? Because my whole scalp is like discolored. So in the summertime when it's hot and I'm sweating, it's gonna be dripping all everywhere. I was like, mm -mm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put some sunblock on it and call it a day. So that's what it's gonna be. I'm loving this yellow eyeshadow. Okay, so this is one of my favorite powders. This is the Dior No Makeup Makeup Powder, and this is in the color six neutral yeah i haven't pulled it out in a while because i've been using the sephora matte powder foundation that's really good as well but this is one of my favorites the stuff that i've been using i actually took it with me and it's still packed so we're gonna do this today i'm looking at the skin and that primer has the skin looking gorgeous i may have to order <laughs> Some more of it before the sale is over because I'm really really liking it so far I'm loving that okay did I show y'all these lashes where I got them okay I think I got them oh I got them from Marshall's these are the faux mink pro lash five pack this is what they look like so I just wanted to show you what they look like so I'm gonna go under my eyes with this orange color right here from this Italian spritz palette because why not? It's close to yellow. It's not yellow, but it's close to yellow. We don't want to go too dark. This is the MAC 222. Two, two. Let's see. Yeah, we don't always have to have a heavy eye. And I'm surprised I don't have brown mascara, but I will be adding that to my list. I'm using Capri Fun and Feeling Saucy. That just added, <laughs> that just added something. This right here mixed with that. It just gave it a little more, a little more of a pop. Now, I'm gonna go into this color. This is a waterproof cream gel liner that I got from She Glam, shade number five. So I'm gonna line my waterline with this. This has been pretty good in a waterline. Not necessarily this color, but the, the liners. This one is not that pigmented, but this is what we have. I'm gonna put a little mascara on. This is the MAC stack. I'm gonna go back into that yellow again. That's when I really need a, a good yellow waterline pencil. I tried the one from Sephora, the one called Sunshine. It didn't do anything for me. So I need a bronzer. I'm gonna use this Revolution. Bronzer. I really like it. I really, really like this one. Just such a pretty, pretty color. Yeah, like if I was going out to a function, like really going out, then I would definitely put foundation on my head because you want everything to look one color. I would set it. I probably would throw a little highlighter on there. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna do a little nose contour. The skin looks gorgeous. It really, really does. That primer has everything looking beautifully smooth. I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna use one of my blushes from House Labs because she's about to change, well, she changed the formula and it's about to be released on March 8th, the day before my birthday. <laughs> I'm gonna be picking up the blush. I don't know if I'm gonna wait for the sale because I heard the sale is gonna be the end of this month. Do I pick it up now? I mean, the month is gonna be over before you know. Once my birthday passes, everything just flies by. This is the Self Beauty Uniconic Glow Fixer setting spray. I'm gonna just set with this. I'm just gonna spray it actually and then come back and do blush and lip and stuff. This is a really good setting spray. Really is. Long wearing, makes the skin look beautiful. This one is the glow. The other one is the matte. So depending on what foundation I have, then I would know which one to use. But it's just a gorgeous setting spray and I was so glad that it was recommended to me. Do I have like makeup all over the top of my shirt? I sure do. Like outer and everything. So I'm just picking up any color blush. This one is Watermelon Bliss. So we're gonna use this. That's what it looks like. 
Yeah, she changed the formula to a talc-free formula because these were not talc-free before. So she has some new colors and I'll probably be picking those new colors up, but I'm not going to rebuy the same ones that I have just because they're talc-free. I'm going to use these first and then I may get them. But no, not to just waste money like that because I'm still going to use these. Like these are a very beautiful formula of blush. I think I got a lot of blush on for this eye look today though. That's a lot of blush. Blush. Okay, I'm gonna just tone this down just a little bit. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That is so pretty. Let's see what we're gonna do for a highlighter. We might as well go House Labs with a highlighter. I love House Labs, I really do. Okay, we're gonna use this. This is Fire Opal. I don't even have to look at it because I know the names. I should know the names of like everything, but I don't, but I know the names of most of her highlighters because I love them. The highlighter is usually the real test when I use a new primer because if it can go on and look as beautifully smooth as this is looking right now, then we know that this is an excellent primer and I'm gonna order more. Yeah, just look how beautiful it looks on the skin. It's so gorgeous. This is like a perfect shade for what we have going on on our face. Gorgeous. I'm gonna put a little bit on the nose. Gorgeous. These cheeks. I'm loving that. I think it looks so pretty. I don't know if I had told you guys what I have on my lips. It's one of the Summer Friday lip balms. I really love them. I'm gonna take this off my lips. This is the Anastasia lip liner in the color Raisin. Raisin. So we're gonna see what we have going on here. Her pencil is nice and smooth, but I used something most recently, a Sephora lip liner that was very smooth, very pigmented, very creamy, and I was loving it. This is a nice pencil, but it's nothing to write home about. I bought a lot of these in different colors, and they're not the best pencil. They're okay. I thought it was gorgeous. So let me just wipe this color off, because I use it inside, and I want to just try this color on my lips. This is shade number 10 in Sephora Comfort Matte. Gorgeous. I love this color. I love this shade number 10. It's gorgeous. It's beautifully springtime. I love it. Okay, so. I'm gonna spray this face one more time and I think that we are done. It looks gorgeous. I love this color. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think the makeup looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna go over everything that I used on my face and give you my thoughts on the makeup. But I think the makeup looks very beautiful. I'm gonna start with the primer because that was like our first layer. So other than my regular skincare and serums, I use these two new primers. The Uniconic Hydrating Essence Primer by Self Beauty and the Uniconic Pore Control Essence Primer. So I use the Pore Control Primer in my T-zone in my cheek area and I use this hydrating primer on my forehead because it gave a little glow. I really like the way my skin looks. I mean, I have some situations going on and I'm trying to drink more water and just get all of these toxins out of my body right now. So other than that, the skin is gorgeous. When I use a primer and I can use multiple products on my cheeks without it showing any texture and with it looking beautiful and smooth, I know that these are good primers. I got these primers from Amazon and they were actually on sale for $4.99. So you better jump on them while the price is low. But they, they're good. Very good. Now, I don't know if they make the makeup last long because it doesn't say anything about them being long lasting, I don't think. Let me see. So it doesn't say anything about it making the makeup stay on longer. So I'm going to test this out one day when I am on my way out and see if 
this stays on all day because you would want it to be on all day like we don't want to get something that makes the skin look smooth and then when you come back there's nothing on there so so far let's let's put a pause on these let me wear them outside first and let me see but so far I like them let me say that then I use this about face the, the performer foundation I used it before and I didn't love it because I had that glowy blush on bottom the blush balm I don't like a super dewy look on my skin before I used to like match matte 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 but now I'm getting into a little bit of glow but I don't want it to be glowy where by the end of the day I look like an oil slick so I really do like this foundation it's not super long wearing but you could wear it out like between 8 and 12 hours and have a nice amount of wear and it's still on your face as long as you prep your skin right and you use your right setting spray okay what else I, I use so much different stuff okay so I use the about face matte fluid eye paint the minis and I use used it in I used it in the yellow and the blue as my liner just really really faint it came out like a green color these are cute I don't know that I would necessarily say go out and buy them I'm gonna play with them a little bit more I love the color paint off of this yellow shadow this is probably the most pigmented yellow that I have I'm sure these other two will probably work good as well and I think that you can mix these so one day I'm gonna try mixing the colors and make my own colors because with these three primary colors you can get a lot of different shades out of this so we're going to see yeah I use this Sephora micro smooth powder to set my lids and like kind of blend out my shadow and it was good like it really did a good job it bl it just gave it something to blend into so I mean playing with these I think they'll be good but I really love this yellow eye for spring summer so this is gorgeous this is just one color and it just looks beautiful it just makes your eyes pop I love yellow it's my favorite I just think it looks gorgeous I use the Huda Beauty powders to set my face I have coffee cake and blondie here that's the Huda Beauty easy bake loose powders and I love them so I don't really have anything to say about them they're just good powders this is the house labs fire opal highlighter I have that on my cheeks and in my inner corner as an inner corner highlight it's a gorgeous gorgeous formula I think that her highlighters are beautiful they just look so so beautiful on the skin they really do I set under my eye with this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush brightening flawless finish complexion perfecting eye and face micro powder it's nice I don't like it as much as the other one but it did give a nice amount of brightness under the eye and I also use this Fenty we're even concealer it's not one of my favorites I'm gonna have to say that it definitely gave me a lot of creasing under my eyes if you can see that like when I wear other concealers and I don't care if it's a cheaper concealer it doesn't give me those lines like that like I like a smoothed out look I want to look as smooth under my eyes as I can I'm gonna try this again but I don't love it so far I use this Sephora lipstick in shade number 10 and I like the color but now that I look at the pigmentation like it's not real pigmented it's like a watercolor paint that's what it looks like you know how when you're painting some paints have real full coverage this one is it's a natural coverage but that's too many layers for me like if it feels wonderful on the lips though it's very very comfortable it is matte it just doesn't have the amount of pigment that you would get from a MAC lipstick it's nice and if you put a lip liner on under it I'm sure that it will look a little more pigmented I do love the color I think it's nice that's all I can say I'm not in love with it it's not like a favorite it's nice I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liner in the color raisin it's a nice pencil it's not one of my favorites I actually like the Sephora liner better than this one the Sephora cream liner it was much better than this I tried it last week and I loved it I used this yellow gel eyeliner from she glam it didn't really do much like I don't see a lot of it under my eye in the waterline but I did pay like eight dollars for like 20 of these or 18 of these so you really can't go wrong I use this max stack mascara on my lower lash line it's a good mascara it's very pigmented it's a lot of coverage it's not one of my favorites but it's a nice mascara I just like something that give me a little less black smudgy look under my eyes if that makes sense like I want a smaller brush I think that's what the problem is the brush is so big that it's touching the skin I don't like a lot of darkness under my eyes I just really don't because I already have dark circles so it reminds me of my dark circles revolution mega bronzer in color 04 I love it dark 04 it's a gorgeous gorgeous 
just bronzer. It's like 12 bucks. Really good. I definitely recommend that. I think I recommended it to you guys before when I tried it because it was really good. And I also use this LYS No Limits Bronzer in the color strength. This is their cream bronzer. It's good. Like, I like it. It's very pigmented. It does show up. I like it. I really do. I pulled out my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder in 6 Neutral. And I use this Uniconic Glow Fixer Setting Spray. That's why my skin has such a dewy, lifelike look. I really love this setting spray. This one is the matte setting spray and this one is the glowy one and it really does make your skin have a nice glow to it. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here, please give the video a thumbs up. Of course, let me know what you think of this makeup. Have you tried any of these products? And if you're not subscribed to the channel and you've been here before, please become one of my precious jewels and subscribe to the channel. I love all you guys. I love my viewers. Even if you don't subscribe, I love my subscribers. I I just love you guys. You guys, it just makes me so happy to be back in front of the camera. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. <laughs>